let's take another question from Gaijin American, who asks, should cabinet positions be democratically elected by the people in ranked in a ranked choice ballot? Oh, I don't know why. Um, like cabinet positions yeah. in an executive mm -hmm. administration. I, I know. I think like the okay. I used to think that. I used to think like, why do we uh, elect the president? Why can't the people just elect, you know, the minister of everything, right? Like that. For, that's what you mean the minister of education, the minister of defense. That way, people could specifically decide what policies they like for everything. Like you know, maybe like a president has a bad defense policy and a good education policy. And then you can't vote for each one of these separately. You know, if you had to vote for like education minister separately from like a lot of defense minister, then you could be like, well, I like this guy's education policy and this guy's defense. I, th I used to think that was a better method uh, if people could do that. But then I then I met the people. <laughs> I just no, I'm kidding. Um, no, but the problem is that the problem is that the system that we have has worked you know i don't think like we should reinvent the wheel i think like it's easy for us to do armchair analysis of thinking just imagining well that will work better obviously because if i have to wait i mean are we talking about um a, you know a country with a president or a prime minister you know i don't know which one we're talking. i'm just referring to everything um gaijin american is well, obviously an american and also frequently asks us about american democracy so let's put in the context of a presidency all right so like you you want to you don't want you want representative democracy and you you want you don't want i think that it would be chaotic okay so one of the issues with democracy is the fact that you going through this popularity contest every four years is a bit chaotic um and it gets in the way of being able to have long-term planning right um relative to countries that don't have dict dictatorships they don't have to deal with all these campaigns and constantly wo wooing people people who are, might not that be informed with politics and stuff, like having to go through that cycle every four years. And every four years, you lose the, per the person that has trade agreement, made trade agreements with the rest of the world. Like, for example, in the United States, we, Obama made a trade, made like remove the JCPOA with Iran, but then you can't rely on that because then Trump came and got rid of it. And now Biden is trying to bring it back, but it's hard to bring it back because, um, for example, the Iran knows that the Islamic Republic of Iran knows that the next president might just remove it as easily, right? So there's some instability associated with democracy. However, we say that that instability is actually worth it, okay? Because all the benefits of democracy outweighs this cost, okay? But imagine if this cost increases, if you have these sort of elections and campaigns and popularity contests for every single position, you know, at some degree, we have to be like, this is a representative democracy. You choose the officials and then you let them pick who is the experts, right? Like it will be get, it will get so much more messy. And again, just because something sounds like it would be better, this, if you want to change things, you have to change it a lot more strategically and smaller because this has worked. This has this whole concept of, you know, um, separating different branches, the government to three different branches and the models that we have right now has been such a blessing to politics in the past, you know, 100 years or so, less you know, or less, that has worked better than anything we have had before. Just fundamentally breaking it and make, uh, it could be extremely risky. You can't mess with things like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you know, it's tough. Yeah. I think it could also cause a lot of um, internal conflict within a cabinet because yes. like political parties could be diametrically opposed. They could oh have competing agendas. 
yeah, you're right. Actually, actually, that's a genius answer. That's the main, that's the main problem. Okay. That's actually the major problem. The whole reason why you have like a head of the government and they come up with a cabinet is because you get them to work with each other because they're part of the same, you know, they're like, okay, like, you know, all of these different parts, like imagine if each one of them was like, didn't need to do grandstanding and do virtue signaling to his voter base and it like didn't have to work with the rest of them it would be such a mess you know you you're creating an incentive structure that doesn't uh, encourage cooperation right Cohesion. because if this if this yeah if you like select okay we selected this party okay or this presidency they they all have to work together to prove so that they could win again right but if they all separate they don't have to work together to win right because they're all being elected separately so that it would cause such a thing they're There's way no more self-interested i mean politicians is, are already self-interested <laughs> yeah i mean that, that actually you're right that is the, that is the main problem i didn't think about your that's that's the best answer you're right that's the main problem <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.